Or 300 kilometers north of where her tomb was, they found a man just as well preserved as she was. Um, and his burial chamber was very similar to hers. Um, and I'll get into a little bit more into that. Um, but her tomb, I'm going to get into how they found her and like right. why they think like, cause there's like in Egypt and most mummies that you find and most mummies that you think of are dry mummies. They're dehydrated, desiccated, right. jerky mummies. you know, just, yeah, they're just like jerky basically where yeah. these ones in in china are special because they're wet like they're found and they're moist they're in like, like that. they're pickled kind of they're like pickled people i don't want moist mummies <laughs> yeah yeah they're pretty gross <laughs> they're, they're they're juicy um yeah. but we're, we're talking this is the yangtze river valley you know it's it's not an optimal place for preservation because it's very wet it could get very hot and very cold so right. when you bury somebody there they're not gonna last very long because it's a wet environment they're just gonna decay really quick because there's lots of bacteria it's hot you know um right. her tomb was basically an inverted pyramid that was dug into the ground and it was over 12 meters deep um which meters to feet is 12 meters is the equivalent of 39 feet oh so we're wow. talking back before backhoes so this was like over 39 feet deep was this this was um it was very cold in there and they said even now in modern times they store bananas and stuff in there to keep the refrigerators what? they don't yeah so like you can go like there was a guy who was in there and there was a tons of bananas in there like, <laughs> like just stored in there all green to keep them from ripening too fast because it's that it's like a refrigerator in there Crazy. So, like, maybe she's stored here because it's a refrigerator. But even if you bought, like, you went to the store and you bought chicken and put it in your fridge, it's not going to last forever. No, it's not going to last century. Like, oh. <laughs> right. It's not going to last for a thousand years in your refrigerator. It's still going to go rotten. Right? Right. Her body was wrapped tightly in 20 layers of silk. Um, And they said, like, the silk dip... Basically, what the silk did in those layers, it deprived the oxygen to the bacteria so that it made it so the bacteria couldn't get to the body. Right. Or the, that makes sense. It was, it was, it was, it was depriving the oxygen to the bacteria that was already on the body so it wouldn't like break down her okay. tissue. Yeah. Right. Um, and the body was then placed, there was four separate coffins, but the body was found when they, they found the coffins when they opened them all up, there was liquid in her. Like, she was floating in liquid. Oh. And the liquid was a reddish liquid, and they did tests on it, and it was found to be, uh, like, a mild acid. It was, like, acetic acid, which is what vinegar is. And it had uh, traces of cinnabar and magnesium in it. So, it was basically, like, a cinnamon vinegar Oh, it's like a, that's probably why it was reddish color. But there's like so much speculation as to whether they put the liquid there or if the liquid found its way there, you know. Oh. So they don't they don't know. Um, The body in the north, the whole burial chamber was filled with liquid that had a similar composition. So they oh. don't know. They could have put liquid in her coffin. And then his tomb could have filled up with liquid after the fact. So they, a lot of people do think that they did put liquid in the tomb. And that's why she stayed preserved. Because otherwise, they're like, what else? There's got to be some other component here that would keep her from decaying right. all, all this time. Like, what else is there? Because it can't be just wrapped in silk. There's got to be more no, to it. Right. That. that makes sense. Yeah. But anyway, she would be placed in four coffins. And each coffin would be sealed with a thick coating of lacquer and they each fit snugly together and then they were placed in a burial chamber with six meters it was a six meters long by six meters wide and six meters high so it's like really big surrounded um by five tons of charcoal and covered with a meter of clay on all sides wow um and then they filled like a the face mask <laughs> yeah, they filled the tomb with soil, and then they capped it with a soil 15 meters high. So, 
that's this hill was basically man-made back before before you could before his equipment right so i mean this is like this hill that they've had a name for it was basically a tomb this whole time like it was just like they didn't know it they they didn't know it crazy so i'm gonna get on to what killed our lovely diva lady here she was probably partying too hard um yeah that's exactly what happened when they did her autopsy they found she had like four different types of parasites oh jesus she had (laughs) our our lovely friends the tapeworm oh and she had whipworms too and then a couple others um they in her in her um that silk banner her funeral banner there she she used a cane and they figured it was because she had a fused disc in her spine that probably gave her constant pain so she probably didn't she probably didn't walk around a lot and they said that's probably why she was like overweight for the time and in her stomach they found over a hundred undigested melon seeds like from like a musk melon type of melon they're like this bitch was so hungry (laughs) <laughs> she ate the melon and the seeds. Like she didn't even chew. She didn't even chew the seeds. They were whole seeds, and she ate them within like an hour of dying because they weren't even digested. So, like she just like ate the whole melon. Like that was the end of her meal. Like, <laughs> wow, like a snake. <laughs> I think so. Like, the holy hole. crap! So wonder why you you died. You didn't even chew your food. <laughs> <laughs> they found something that like they didn't think was possible she had arthrosclerosis proving that heart disease existed in ancient times which they did not think wow was the case i didn't think so either yeah she had gallstones and they said one was lodged in her bile duct and they said that's probably what caused her death is that the bile the oh. stone lodged in her bile duct created issues with her it's like her her heart couldn't take that extra stress and that's what 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 killed her but like when they first started her autopsy they're like she still has hair on her head and then they realized part of it was a wig that was like <laughs> sewn on so but she was totally like extra like when she died with her with her hair still on like yeah the extensions in yeah, she got it. Like fifty years old with her with her wig still on her head. Whole hair piece. <laughs> that was real hair too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, that was the story of Sin Shui. Sin, Sin Shui. Shui. And it's spelled Z I N. No, X I N, and then Z H U I. So Sin Shui. In Shui. Yeah. It sounds like she could be my friend. She's got, she likes food. She likes drink. She likes to have fun. She uh, had a fused disc. I got those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. She likes her hair extensions. <laughs> Me too, friend. Me too. I, know. I, was, uh, like, I don't know. I think we, she might, maybe I'm reincarnation of her. <laughs> maybe I'm her reincarnation. I expect I this all when I die. So if you're, if I go before you, <laughs> Make sure you put some food in my thing. No you whole swan, drink. though. You don't need. No, I don't need a whole swan. You need some dog effigies, but not to eat. No, because <laughs> I love my pups. But like, yeah, putting some dog statues in there would be good. You know, keep and make sure my hair's on. Make sure I got my extensions in. For sure. <laughs> make sure my lashes look good. <laughs> you gotta get I think it. We you know. Related. I think we might be related. I really do. But yeah, her story is fun. This is like, because it's, but I mean, they have like a, even before, I think before they even found her tomb, like they knew who she was because she was like a high up during this, um, she was married to Lee Kang, who was the Marquis, the Marquess of Dai, and he was a chancellor of the Changsha kingdom to the emperor you know he was a high up there and so they knew of her and they had like a a wax figure of her and it didn't look like her (laughs) 
she was a skinny lady they had. I'm like, oh, maybe when oh. she was younger, but not when she body was older. Shaming, way back then, 2,000 years ago, body shaming. Couldn't yeah. be yourself, had an airbrusher even then. I know. <laughs> of course. Even the statues are airbrushed. This is China in the 70s in China. And the funny thing is because like a lot of the, in the documentary, they kept saying her. She was fat. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, this probably, oh, well, she, she, she was quite fat. She was quite fat. <laughs> quite fat. He said quite fat like three times. <laughs> and you're like, listen, sir. It's like, okay. That is not quite fat. And I'm like. She's 158 pounds. That's not quite fat. Uh, what a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> she was a plump girl. We'll give her. She's she liked yeah. her. She liked her melons. Even she ate the seeds and all. <laughs> oh, she ate the seeds. I wonder she, if there was like the fact that she ate the seeds and didn't chew the seeds. That's the yeah. I wonder if there was some kind of traditional thing that they did, and that's why they were. Like, they swallowed every seed in it for good luck or something. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. It could have just been she was liking it. <laughs> yeah. Just slurped it down. Yeah. Well, I wonder if it, the seeds in it, I've never seen a muskmelon, like, in person or cut one open. But I wonder if it's, like, cantaloupe or, like, pumpkin seeds where they're, like, mixed in with, like, the slimy part where you scoop them out. But maybe you could just, like, swallow them in that hope. mixture you know they show pictures i'm trying to figure like it out black seeds they're like these little yeah. black seeds well they probably are black after being in your stomach for 2,000 years <laughs> her skin wasn't black though after being floating in some vinegar for 2,000 years if you pickle anything they, it doesn't turn black i don't think you just gotta pickle it <laughs> yeah it's crazy pickled people pickled food I love pickled things, so I'm all for this. I pickle me when I die. Pickle me up. <laughs> and put some pickles in there too, because I'm gonna want a snack. Some dill. Dill yeah. in there, some mustard seeds, garlic. I wanna, wanna be I, I wanna, wanna snack. I would have to turn Ruben in I'd have to make kimchi with him. Yes. <laughs> kimchi. He would he, and I love he, kimchi. <laughs> he our house smells like kimchi most of the time because he's always making kimchi i know and i still i'm going to say this on a podcast i yet to have a, a reuben made kimchi ever in my whole life are you serious i haven't given it to you no and oh I love my kimchi. god that's terrible i need to give you make you a something. note of that right now and it <laughs> should be remedied <laughs> it needs to be Ruben, remedied and i can't even eat it because it's too much salt in the damn stuff <laughs> oh that's so I, can, I can sniff it Oh, it's so it like talking about kimchi makes my mouth water. That's how much I love it. I mean, there's I love. Some nights, there's some nights like when you're like, oh, I don't know what to make for dinner. You just like cook, put rice in a rice cooker and then like you eat some rice. You're not doing carbs right now, but no. like rice, you just have like kimchi and whatever on the side. Kimchi being the yeah. main focus here. You just eat that with some seaweed. I bet I could fry up some cauliflowered rice. Mm -hmm. have it that way you know because i love Ru that stuff ruben's kimchi fried rice is even yet better well i haven't had that either so i would know what i no mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm I hoping if i say this publicly and shame you <laughs> I, will I, am, I feel ashamed <laughs> i do feel ashamed <laughs> i publicly making, shame you for it but you know like he's been making kimchi for a good what two years it's been two years since he started making it like regularly. So yeah, I, I feel ashamed. I'm sorry. You should. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it myself at home and I didn't do a good job. I didn't he do has it. a system. I didn't do it out. I don't know. I'm sure uh, his is really he's good. He's got it down. The trick is you have to go buy the pepper flakes at the Korean grocery store. They're specific. Yeah. You gotta get the right kind of pepper flakes or it's not doesn't taste right. It tasted terrible. I was like, no, I can't have this. I also tried to uh, ferment beets at my house. I bought the fermenting kit, and you could. I read the recipe. Of how, that was terrible too. It did not turn out well. I just not good at it. Fermenting pickles is good. They're my favorite kind of pickles. Is the fermented. Oh, I love. I love fermented food. I just I can't make it myself apparently because every time I try, it's terrible. <laughs> my my door of my fridge is like half 
pickled or fermented thing. And then, and then some condiments. But it's like a lot of pickled 